What's going on dudes, it is Colossalis here, welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we are taking a look at the Demon Hunter from the Diablo universe. Her name is Vala, she was reworked quite a lot, she was kind of a, like a stagnant assassin, she was she, like, back in the day she was picked as a backup, like, every single hero was either picked, like, assassin, range assassin was picked or banned, she was like the backup that competitive t uh, teams went to. Um, as the number of assassins grew, she kind of fell out of the meta and uh, she basically needed a rework, like, you know, a little spice up in her talent. They basically 100% reworked her, they, uh, they uh, changed how her um, hatred stacks work, some of her talents, how, how they work, and now she's actually back into the meta uh, with a boom. She has three very viable builds, which I'll, I think I'm going to make three different videos about, and um, today we'll, we will be looking at the hungering. Arrow build, which is my personal favorite, and it was since the rework. So let's fear the demon hunter. I stand ready. All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on the infernal shrines. Level 1 is going to go for Monster Hunter, reducing the mana cost of our Q and also increasing its non-hero damage to like structures and everything, which is going to be good for this map, right? This map revolves all around all around killing minions and shit. So our Q ability is a skill shot in front of us. Um, if we hit something, it's going to bounce to the two nearby targets. It prioritizes heroes, so if you hit it on the minion and the hero is next to it, uh, he's going to go to that, he to that hero. Um, it's going to deal a lot of damage when it hits somebody. Uh, for the first time, and then the bounces are going to deal, let's see, about 50% of, of the actual damage. So our W ability is a little cone in front of us, like an a, a little AOV. Um, it, actually, um, the cooldown of this was was actually increased, so it's not uh, as reliable as it used to be, as in like, the wave clear. Um, it, just, it just deals a little bit of damage, and our E ability is called Vault which allows me to just vault in an area. Uh, me and my girlfriend should definitely be able to punish this um, punish this uh, butcher out of this lane. Yeah, so our vault just allows us to, to dash in an area, so and just some cool stuff like this. Oh, actually, the, yeah, this, this lock is there. And what it also does now, it also increases uh, your next basic attack uh, by 6% for every hatred stack that you have. So it is actually better to, you know, gather 10 stacks of hatred than auto attack him. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, bitch? Uh, and then after you, you maxed up your, your hatred, uh, you can actually use this to get some nice damage out of, out onto the, uh, the enemies. Uh, today we're going for a hungering, hungering arrow build. He's coming onto you, baby. I'm not sure what. I just used my escape, which is pretty bad. But okay, fine. <laughs> I actually wasn't punished for it. Uh, so the trait was actually changed a little bit. Uh, it now gives you more, uh, more, uh, more attack uh, damage uh, per stack, but um, like her. Auto attacks were uh, like the damage from them was was decreased as it was. So we should probably rotate to the objective. That's probably the best idea. A little four gonna go for puncturing arrow, which is now a questing town, which I'll explain in a second. Yeah, so the trait actually now fades completely. Meltage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, you're dead. I'm sorry. And you gave the bomb to um, to Nova. If I can hit somebody, oh fucking shit! Okay, I'm not gonna hit somebody because the the mine was there. I'm I'm just gonna go back for a second. We're gonna allow the enemy team to kind of get a head start on this objective. It's fine. And I'm on my way back. Yeah. So they do not like basically fade uh, fade away over time. Like her, if you guys didn't know, her trait is um, when she auto attacks and she hits some hits an enemy, um, she's gonna get a stack of hatred, which is gonna grant her a little bit more uh, auto attack damage. That was just really bad. I have auto attack damage and also is gonna slightly increase her movement speed, right? 
She can get up to 10 stacks of these, and this used to be so, like, it, it used to fade away over time. Uh, you know, so, like, uh, when she didn't auto attack, it, it, it would go from 10 to 9, then to 8, and then it would just fade away that way, right? Now, what it does, uh, it actually fades away all at once. So, if you're sitting at 10 stacks, and you do not auto attack for like three seconds, I think it is. Six seconds, sorry, six seconds. That was actually increased as well, just because uh, when she first came out after the rework, she wasn't strong enough. Um, um, so when that, uh, so if you're not auto attacking for six seconds, you're gonna lose all st stacks at once, which makes Vala um, like a much more, uh, you know, like uh, like a hero that actually requires like, like much more skill to play, right? Like you, you need to manage your um, hatred in a in a way that you never did before. You're you're supposed to you know, uh, just use all of the enemies, uh, all the enemies, and actually you know structures and and minions to actually keep your stacks up, to keep dealing that damage, and be able to you know, to deal the most damage. Uh, uh, and with vault as well, right? Like it's just a much bigger trade. I'm actually I'm actually wanting to get a kill on that uh, kill pass just because he's. Uh, He's just overextending way too much. I'm, I'm waiting for this butcher to overextend, then I can punish him with my Q. Uh, by the way, we, we, we picked up puncturing arrow at level at level ten. Uh, not level ten, level four. At level seven, I'm gonna go for repeating arrow. All uh, right. So puncturing arrow, what it does? It's a it's a questing talent. Uh, we have to hit. Uh, you know, like our initial hit has to hit has to hit um, twenty heroes. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, that didn't that didn't count. Fuck it. Um, and what it does, I'm not sure if it actually increases the damage, so... Hitting an enemy hero with the uh, initial impact, yeah, so it empowers every single hit by 5, and then once you finish the quest, you're gonna get additional uh, 75 um, 75 damage from that Q, which is gonna be awesome, and it also is gonna bounce one more time. Very good for wave clear, especially with the Monster Hunter talent, talent at level 1. And then repeating arrow, uh, when using our Volt, we, we are, we're not only going to increase our damage from... Um, from um, you know from our basic attack, but we are also going to refresh the the cooldown on our hungering arrow. Just super good, super super good. Where, where's that butcher? Butcher rotated top, so I, I'm I'm feeling like I need to go bottom to just try to pressure. The, oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh fucking shit! They're, they're coming to get me. I'm fine, right? I'm fine, right? I'm fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Seriously? He, he tried to get me so hard. And he actually took a lot of damage from those towers. It's fine. Right, what I'll do is I'll try to hit him. There's a hit! And you can see that we, we got that uh, little uh, exclamation mark for, for our quest. Um, Strafe is actually proving to be quite nice now, right now. I'm away, baby. Um, actually, with, with our Monster Hunter, we, we are able to do quite a lot of damage with our Q um, to not only minions but also structures and, uh, and mercs. Vala uh, becomes a, quite a monster at um, you know at taken camps, especially when, with someone that can tank the camp. Uh, the Asmodan should be dead. Uh, what I'm gonna do next time? I'm just gonna use my W. I don't want to get stuck on him. There we go. There's a stack. Right. So I'm, my stacking does, isn't going that well, just because this map is not the best for this. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my W every time. Um, I really, I really want to go straight uh, Reign of Vengeance. I think I'm gonna Reign of Vengeance just, just because the Butcher, when he when he engages, he's very very vulnerable to any stuns or any kind of CC, which is obviously just super good against Butcher. So I'm wait, wait I'm waiting for him to engage. Once he does, oh, I actually did not get that. That they just cheated me. They just cheated me out, out of my heroic. So I'm waiting for him to engage on one of our friendlies, and then there we go, there he engages, I'm actually going to go in here with uh, Reign of Vengeance, that's going to deal a little bit of damage, and kill Butcher, and secure kill on Uther as well. So, if you guys don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm stutter stepping, so you're supposed to auto attack and step, auto attack and step, and then, so you you you're, use your A to, to macro your attacking, and then your right click to, ma to macro your... Um, um, what's, it, what's the name? Your uh, your movement, right? So, oh god damn! I'm doing actually 600 damage to to every to every minion that I attack. There's a kill on the enemy kill pass. That was actually just a copy. So, I don't want to get hit, hit by your bomb, baby. Why are you staying with us? You have bomb on you. Give me your heal, please. I love you, but you, you have to, you know.
There's a stun, which actually it actually secured my living. Also, my 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 baby was uh, kind enough to heal me. Come here, fucking butcher! Yeah, 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 yeah! Let's go! Kill that butcher! Oh my god, the the D shield saves him. Oh, sorry, baby. Right, I'm gonna wait for his engage again. Yeah, there's another hit. There's another you know um, hit for our our puncturing arrow quest. Maybe you have to be careful now, they're gonna be coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's dismount him. Let's get another another questing uh, talent. Here. Actually, Butcher just, just multiplied, so. Looks like we have a female Butcher. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? We just get a free hit on him. Yeah, 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 come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did. Oh! Why don't he just give me another one? Another, another stack, but he just disappeared after that. Um, uh, this butcher is very, very out of position. He's gonna be just wrecked, I believe. Yeah. And again, we got just a stutter step. This this uh, makes it harder for the enemy team Asmodan and just any enemy team hero who has any skill shots to. Uh, it just just makes their um, their work harder when trying to hit you with skill shot. They'll start this start stutter stepping because they never know which way you're, you know you're going to to walk, right? Uh, on the stutter range, we're gonna go for siphoning arrow, returning s what? I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, returning 75% uh, of your damage dealt with your uh, Q uh, against heroes um, as health. Which obviously, you know, we go for a Q build, which means that we're going to be doing massive damage with our with our Q, which also is going to return more um, uh, more health, right? Just yeah. synergy. That's how it works. I know uh, I know a thing or two about this game. Sometimes, sometimes. Right, we're just gonna chill in the lane for a little bit. Looks like the enemy team is grouping down in the bottom. They actually picked up a couple kills on Xu and Sylvanas, which is pretty, pretty bad. I'm gonna get this mana. You can see when we picked up the the oh fucking shit! Oh, it is so good that it did not capitalize on my bad positioning there. I would have been just wrecked if if even one of them caught me with a stun. That was me. Actually, Arnova is in, is in a lot of trouble. She's gonna be actually. I think she's gonna be taken out. Oh god damn it! Oh god damn it! God damn it! I didn't, I didn't get a kill. It was close. So you can see how much damage you can actually do with a cute right now. Oh, this butcher is pretty scary. I, I don't want to mess with him. Let's clear up this lane and let's actually wait for a nova. No, no, engage into that. Um, uh, that shrine too hard. Baby, I don't want to die. Okay, she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Oh my god, the Dishes is actually going to secure a lot of damage on our friendlies. I'm actually in a little bit, I'm actually zoned out by this enemy, um, what's the name? Enemy Phoenix. This Witcher is still going. Oh, yeah, I thought he's going to go into that bush. God damn it, it was my fault. It was all my fault. I was actually zoned out by the Phoenix, so I couldn't do anything. Uh, Nova is split pushing. New build, new meta, boys! Split push uh, Nova going ham. Um. Oh fucking shit! He's still here. I missed my Q. No. Why did they shoot my Q to the side? That was bullshit. I, what? I thought I shot him in his face, but anyway. So Nova wasn't with us. Even though she died, we were waiting for her to fully engage. She wasn't with us. She went up to the top lane. I don't know. What, I, I guess she wanted to kill the Abathir, but he he moved just in time. After the fort was taken by us. God damn it, boys. Uh, let's see. Not doing too bad. Only one death so far. And quite a lot of damage on the enemy team. Um, th the job of Vala right now is very, very interesting. Because she has both sustained damage. And she can also do quite a lot of burst with her new, uh, newly buffed Q, uh, Q build. Um... The cube, like the siphoning arrow, used to actually return health from anything. So it doesn't matter if it's a, um, you know, yeah, yeah we, we can we can take a. Oh, Uther is actually alone. Let's get Uther. He sucks. He secretly sucks sometimes. I don't want to die. What are they? What are them ding dongs? 
right, let's keep star stepping. Let's keep hustling. Actually, maybe I don't know how Who wants to kill a, a big ass uh, demon? I want to kill one. I want to kill a big ass demon. I'll go for frost chat on this level range. So, let's kill oh. our. Skeleton. Oh my god, now that actually turned pretty ugly for the friendly team. Here's a stun, but I'm actually not gonna do anything for me. Um, actually, uh, yeah, they have a copy of Butcher, so we just have to back up now. No, Burb! Yeah, he's dead. Oh, is he gonna die? Yes, he did. He did. Yeah, baby, we can turn yours around right now. I'm gonna. We're gonna go onto my mount. Oh God damn it! He healed him so well. God damn. Okay. But uh, I guess she, uh, Nova is gonna go after him. She should. Like she can definitely get a kill there. My way to help our um, amigo, Sylvanas. You can see how much damage we can do to this this non-heroic. We actually just maxed out our um, our puncturing arrow, so that's going to be dealing basically more damage, and it's also going to be bouncing one more time. On my way to the top lane to help with this objective, the enemy team is all up now, and they're actually besides Uther, and they are all ready now to fight. Um, any fast announcement? I'm going a little bit too deep here. Oh god damn it! That's a fucking butcher. I'm gonna wait for him to engage on one of our uh, like other guys. We have to win a team fight first to actually to be safe. Uh, she's gonna he's gonna engage on me. I'm just gonna stand. Uh, the only thing I could have done was just stand in place. Um, again, the only thing that would have helped us to kill the butcher quicker was the hunter's mark from my girlfriend, and it actually did land, but wasn't able to pick up a kill on him fast enough for us to do. Actually, oh now Sylvanas and Nova are turning this fight a little bit around. It's still a, a 3 for 2 trade, but they actually made it a trade instead of just just full-on team wipe. Um, Sylvanas is a little bit low. Kill fast. Might be a little bit of a bad position here. He's gonna get hit by... Yeah. Yes, he's dead. Just don't spread the bomb. Right, so it's a 3 for 3 trade, and we're gonna be a little bit favored just because we died sooner, so we will be uh, respawning sooner. On my way back, she doesn't have enough damage to kill that guy. I don't think she picked up the uh, the pinning shot thing on 16. The crippling shot, whatever it's called. Did she? No, she went for perfect shot. What the fuck? Is that what you do now on, on Nova? I don't know. Right, on my way top to start cleaning out this objective. Right, so there are also other builds for Vala now. Like, there are builds which... Uh, actually, Amy Asmodan is somewhere here. Where is it? It's right there. Okay, I'm not I'm not going to engage this because Butcher is there. Butcher is like my, my biggest... Like, once he hits his, uh, his skill shot on me, which is, you know, which is the uh, lump to the slaughter... Oh my god, it's actually... I'm trying. I'm trying my goddamn best. Right. I actually stunned him out of out of his butcher charge, which is good. Oh my god, look at the damage. God damn, that double Q is actually just lethal to the enemy team. Uh the enemy kill fast coming in. Get away from me with a bomb, bitch. Thank you. Hi, kill pass. That's a lot of bombs! That's a lot of bombs! I don't wanna die! Okay. Uh, I, just, I just want some health back. Right, he, he just overstepped it. Uh, I can actually Q right into the enemy uh, enemy kill pass and use my um, my vault. My vault damage, you know, from the basic attack and also um, my additional um, additional you know, reset on my hungering arrow. And uh, that I was able to secure the kill along you know, with, my, with other people from my friendly team. Uh, Storm of Vengeance is good. It's actually pretty OP. Uh, every single basic attack will reduce the cooldown of your um, of your heroic by five seconds. 
But I think I like to kind of uh, chill back a little bit, you know what I mean? I like to chill back with my with my basic attacks. I think I'm gonna go for Firefly Cleaver. Uh, any oh. Butcher coming in t into the fray right now. Oh, there, he, he's actually gonna copy himself. As long as he uses the, the copy to kill the, the, the Punisher, then we're fine. We're fine then. I want to get by you. I want to kind of try to get something done. Oh, you missed. Oh, he didn't miss. Maybe we'll run! Oh, we are so fucked. Uh, what killed me at the end? So apparently... Oh, yeah, there was Abathur on him all that time. I didn't see the Abathur, but Abathur actually got killed right now by Nova, which is good. So she made a trade instead of just, again, wiping the three member, few members of our friendly team. Um, Argus actually made the mistake because he was very low and he did not back up. Uh, now our Nova is going to get stunned. Actually, he's going to use the D shield to stop her triple tap, which means D shield is now uh, off for 70 seconds, right? Oh, unless he picked up the increase. No, he went for redemption. Are we not doing too bad? It's not. It's not too bad, even though we died three times now. It's all because of Butcher. Because it's just because when they have, when Butcher has somebody who can cleanse them and divine shield them, it just it just gets nuts. It just it gets crazy with with Butcher. Now let's see. Did he pick up cleanse? Of course he did. This bastard. We need somebody uh, defending middle. Actually, Xul be the best, but I'm actually in my way right there. We have three members of the enemy team pushing down the middle lane. And if we contest this, we can actually get quite a lot of kills. I'm just waiting for the Butcher to, to engage. Nice silence into the root is actually going to secure the kill on the enemy Butcher, and we are not done. And we are not, oh shit, done. Maybe I need your heals. Oh my god. This fucking scary Uther as fuck. Thank you, baby. Alright, we got 15 seconds. We can still push this down a little bit. Yeah, man. Give me that globe. Yeah. Uh, so the other two builds for Vala is... One is uh, kind of like focusing on her multi-shot. And the other one is, of course, the auto-attack. The auto-attack has been around for ages. Um, it was kind of good. I just missed my Q on fucking... <laughs> on the minion? <laughs> he just juked me! Yeah, so it was around for ages, but it was never like... The multi-shot was almost always uh, better, and then they buffed it. They buffed the auto-attack while nerfing, you know, the old, the old multi-shot build. Um, uh, and then they, they completely reworked her. So now she has a very nice three viable builds. Uh, they actually, actually the 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 Q build I thought is going to be the, the strongest at the beginning. But at the beginning it was the multi shot that was the strongest. It turned out to be the strongest. Um, so we're going to be actually checking that out as well. Uh, during that time, during uh, after the PTR because uh, her build her rework re rework went into PTR first, not the life servers. Uh, so after the uh, PTR went live, I wrote a very extensive. Um, they very nicely actually baited it over the wall. Oh, who's the key? Who's the key? Why? What? What? Why does it prioritize me over anybody else? Is it just random or is it the, the one closest you believe you're dead? I'm sorry. Again, where is what? What was Xu doing? Like, he is our main counter to. Uh, to, to to the butcher, like he can just um, kind of slow down his basic attacks with his W. He just attacks and it's there. Uh, did he? Yeah, he maxed out the, his stacks, which is pretty sick for them. Right, so we did get the Punisher. The Punisher is pushing down the core right now, but he's gonna get killed by the core shots themselves. Why not think to death? Um, we need the Xul to be with us. He can't uh, counters the future hard. Just press W and enter. 
plus the roots. Like the roots are can all can get also like then he just cannot escape at all. Even you know even when he has his healing on him. Uh, looks like the enemy team is trying. Nice. What's happening? She got wrecked again. Yeah, they're wasting the coffee. So don't don't do anything about it. No, don't don't let it get any value. Don't let it get any value because now it's gonna get value. I told you. It's gonna auto attack. Again, we should definitely push this back a little bit. Looks like Kazul will be able to do that with his skeletons. And now, the enemy team is split. They're actually okay. They're they're here now. They're all of them are here now. But we can engage into this. We can cut some one of them off maybe. Let me take a selfie. But oh fucking shit. Get out of my way! Let's go! I mean, Xul engaged way too early, right? Like, nobody was there. He, what he did, he basically he pinged assistants. And then he engaged, uh, which is like not enough time for anybody to do anything almost. Uh, now the enemy team ha it has a very very strong push going by going top. Um, they have actually the copy, which is uh, actually still has half of its duration on on the clock, and looks like this is going to be just a good game. Maybe not. Maybe we can actually get this out. Seventy five percent on the core. No, they're going to be backing up right now. I think they're going to try to go for the objective. They actually do have still numbers advantage. He's recalling. Okay, yeah, so just probably kill that and then we can f try to fight. No, actually just defend, defend. Oh, that's a good game. I think that's a good game. Yeah, Xul's not gonna get there. Oh, good sound, baby. Oh, that's just enough. No, yeah. Ugh. Again, a winnable game, but at the end we kind of split. What Xul did was, engage. again, he engaged, clicked once. And you know, clicked as uh, clicked assistance once, and the, the, the I was just backing up, and he was like, "No, fuck it, yalla." So that's what he did. All right, good job, butcher. You're gonna get one for me. Butcher is very easy, comparable. Like, if we focus on him, uh, the hunter's mark into the W from our Xul would have just definitely effed him up. Uh, you know, of course, the stuns from me, from my girlfriend. Uh, again, but again, there was not enough focus on that one target, and we paid for it in our um, in our loss. So again, very respectable damage. I was actually second in the game, right behind the, the enemy butcher, uh, only dying five times in a quick match. Is actually a, a very good feat. So let me go over the build again. Uh, I'm not sure if this far by Quiver was the best choice at the end, but. So at, the, uh, at level one, I'm gonna go over three builds, by the way, um, in my in my later two videos. Uh, the monster hunter. This is hungering arrow mana cost, which kind of helps you give up mana. Vala is known for her uh, for you know, for use of her mana, so this kind of makes her a little bit more kind of not completely alleviate the problem, but kind of help with it, and also increases the uh, the, the damage to non heroic. Um, you know, um, units, which is minions, mercenaries, structures, and monsters, uh, which are which is the new breed of the creeps in the game, uh, which is like the um, the objective uh, you can say in bosses and stuff. So again, this is gonna help with your mana problems, plus uh, be actually viable to clear minion waves and mercs pushes uh, with your Q, especially after you finish your puncturing arrow uh, quest. So, hitting an, an enemy hero with the initial impact of, it has to be the initial impact, it can't be just any impact. It used to be every impact, but now the, the, the initial that was a little bit too powerful, and it scaled it back to just the initial impact. So when the initial impact, um, uh, hits an enemy hero you actually get one towards the quest once you get 20 of those uh, you know of those um, of those stacks you gain of course the 100 plus additional 75 bonus damage on the initial hit and it also is going to bounce um, to w one additional time which is again very good for pushing and again very good for single target damage 
especially that the Q Hungarian arrow now prior prioritizes heroes. Level 7, we went for repeating arrow again. Uh, we Q, we use our Volt, we get additional damage from our basic attack and additional charge kind of of our Q. Level 10, we did go for Rain of Vengeance, try to counter that Butcher. Didn't work out too well, but again, uh, these two are kind of like good in their own situations, right? Strafe is good when they when they don't have um, an, uh, like enough of um, what's it called disrupts, and Reign of Vengeance is just straight up good, you know, to just crowd control and try to um, try to zone for your friendly team, which is what I try to do, try to save them from that butcher uh, onslaught. Level thirteen, we did go for siphoning arrow, although gloom was uh, another very good choice here. Siphoning arrow returns seventy five percent of your damage dealt, which again uh, directly synergizes with level with your level uh, with your all with all of those talents. Um, uh, it returns 75% damage dealt to heroes by Hungering Arrow. It's not long, not longer any unit, it's heroes. It used to be 30% but from everything. Uh, now it's 75% from just heroes. Uh, Gloom is very good because it just gives you 20% straight up reduction of um, of ability damage, which is pretty good, right? Like if the enemy, if the enemy team Butcher would have went for a Furnace Blast, that would have been just 20% decrease of the damage from his Furnace Blast, but he didn't. He went for the lump to the slaughter, which is actually was actually which is actually a better choice. Uh, reduction uh, by th and then you can activate it to consume all your uh, hated stacks and get three percent of uh, ability uh, shield like spell shield, um, three percent for every single stack you consume, so up to thirty, which means the co the, the total spell shield is going to be fifty percent. On level 16, we did go for Frost Chat, which just allows you to get some more CC. This town was just uh, was nerfed and nerfed and nerfed all all the time. Um, used to be a two second slow, a two second slow. Now it's a 1.5 second slow. Used to be a 40% slow. Now it's a 25% slow. Um, so again, this build kind of goes for ability damage. Therefore, I I either go for frost shot or seething hatred. Basic attacks now grant two stacks of hatred, so you you don't have you no longer have to auto attack ten times to get full hatred. You have to attack five times, and it also expires uh, after two more seconds. So after eight seconds of six, so it just kind of allows you to keep that damage for a little bit longer and get it much much faster. And on level twenty, uh, I did go for five like quiver, but honestly, all of those are pretty viable. I wanted to increase the the distance between me and the butcher um, with a firefly quiver. Uh, to just when he engages somebody else, I was I was just very very um, like I wanted to keep to keep the distance between me and him. Uh, you know, so I picked up the increased range of my basic attacks. I was very. Um, I was very desperate. So I was very desperate to keep the butcher away from me. Um, that's why I picked up the Farfly Quiver to kind of increase the range at which I could have you know, just poked at him while he engaged on somebody else. Unfortunately, I was his main um, main target for the reminder of the late game, so it didn't really come into play too much. 40% increase is, is quite a lot, and actually it makes her quite scary against non-butcher, non-engage kind of comps. Uh, but yeah, so that's the build. I'm gonna go over the other two builds in two different videos. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, slap that like rating. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, next we're gonna go over the auto attack build just because I think it's just much more fun to play than the W. It's just, it, it takes a little bit more skill, I believe, um, than the um, than the W build. Yeah, so I'll see you then. Peace on the motherfucking streets, boy.